What's up, everybody? It's NBA season and Major League Baseball season. It's so fun to have both sports back, right? Two excellent ball games in the, in the at, at National Basketball Association yesterday with the Jazz beating the Pelicans by two points and the Clippers, man, losing to the Lakers by two points. Anthony Davis, he played really well. LeBron James did well there in the fourth quarter. I thought the two teams, man, they were really in shape, right? Actually, in both games, right? Really in shape, which kind of surprised me a little bit. It seemed like nobody really got tired. I liked the intensity. I liked it all, actually, right? So I placed a plus three bet on Utah, won that one. But the over-under on the Lakers and the Clippers, I went with the over, and it was the under, right? Two teams played really, really good defense in that ball game. Okay, I have two more plays for you today. One from Major League Baseball and run one from the association, okay? So we'll start with the best rivalry in sports. I think it still is, right? The Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. They faced off nine times last year in New York, and the Yankees won eight out of nine matchups, scoring at least... Six runs four times, scoring at least five runs six times, and Boston's pitching is not exactly very good right now. Okay, Ryan Weber will be taking on Jordan Montgomery. We're not talking about exactly Andy Pettit against Pedro Martinez, right? And Weber got off to a really bad start last year, and he had a really bad first start this year. So I think the Yankees, they will be scoring a lot of runs at home. The Red Sox are coming off a sweep against the New York Mets. At City Field, after getting swept at Fenway, he's one two straight at City Field, trying trying to straight right through the heart of it. No New York there, trying to maybe win a series against the, the the New York Yankees. We shall see what happens. One tendency that I'm one trend that I've seen here from both of these teams, they either give up a bunch of runs early in the case of the Red Sox, or they score a bunch of er, uh, runs early in the case of the New York Yankees. Right. So last game against the Mets, the Red Sox. And the Mets scored five out of the six runs in the first five innings. And then in the series at Fenway Park, in, in those two games, six out of 11 in the first five. And then eight out of 11 runs scored in the first five innings. Now, the Yankees were up 5-4 after two innings against the Orioles in their last game. And they were up 5-1 after five innings uh, the game before. So... The over, I'm going with over six runs in the first five innings in this ball game. It's at plus 100. I think, I think it's interesting. I think it's the Yankees' home opener. I think they're going to be extremely excited. Like I said, Ryan Weber versus Jordan Montgomery isn't exactly Andy Pettit against Roger, uh, Roger Clemens, too, against Pedro Martinez. Uh, I do like the Red Sox to score over four and a half runs in this ball game at minus 105. I do. Jordan Montgomery hasn't really pitched in the last two years. Uh, pitching for the first time. I think the Red Sox, man, they have the, they, they hit for a high average. They're not scoring a ton of runs. I think it's, you know, it's just a question of time here for them not really really have a, uh, a high-scoring ball game. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I think New York wins something like 7-6 or 8-6 or something like that. Okay, Rockets and Mavericks, intrastate rivalry there in the NBA. Yeah, so uh, the first time these two teams met, tons of points were scored. 260 points, and then 249 points. You look at the over-under here, and it's 230. You're like, that is a lot of points, man. For the first game back, that's a lot of points. But did you see the two games yesterday? I thought the teams, like I said, they were in great shape, running around everywhere. You know Westbrook's coming back in great shape. James Harden, um, and Dantich, and Perzingis. Man, those dudes can score. I see a lot of points. I mean, these two clubs aren't exactly known for their defense, right? So the over under here 230 I'm going with the over at minus 113 no Eric Gordon in this ball game we've got to take that in consideration but he missed some games this year and even without Gordon Houston scored and Houston's at plus two here at minus 110 I'm taking the points I'm taking the points and I'm taking the over so we shall see what happens. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful Friday and a great weekend. We got the Yankees and the Red Sox. We got the Rockets and the Mavericks, two rivalries. It's gonna be a very, very fun Friday. Bye-bye now.